Welcome to the Big Success Show. Today, five ways to become more resilient. Big Success with the Professor and Mary Lynn. Hey, it's back to school time and we're in the middle of a 10-part series on lifelong learning. We've talked about the three R's we learned in school, reading, writing, and arithmetic, and how they That apply. don't add up, Mary Lynn. Uh, that doesn't add up. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Sorry, I, just, I couldn't resist. <laughs> well, we've talked about them yes. and how they apply to our lives. And last time we talked about the three R's of big success by talking about the first R, responsibility. And today we're going to talk about the second R, Resiliency. Oh, I love that word, resilient. It's such such an important word in the entrepreneur's language. Hi, I'm George, the professor. And I'm Mary Lynn. Today's episode is made possible by Kindle Unlimited. Unlimited reading, unlimited listening on any device. Learn more at bigsuccess.com slash Kindle. Now, we always knew how important it was to be resilient. However, I think everybody would agree. The events of the past few years have highlighted why it's absolutely vital that we're able to bounce back. Right. And in the height of the pandemic, we did a podcast. It's podcast number um, 1018 on three ways to buck up your bounce back ability. Bounce it's back a, ability. <laughs> it's a great show. And you'll find a link to it in your show notes. That One of the things that we know for sure is that there will be surprises on the path to big success. And that's when you really have to dig deep to find your ability to press on. Yeah, and, and that means understanding the difference between a promise and a commitment. Uh, you talk about a promise to yourself. A promise to yourself, even a promise to others, but but a promise to yourself is the one we're really going to zero in on today. And actually, I guess more specifically, a commitment to yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm admittedly going back a few years here with this uh, story, Mary Lynn. Okay. Just a few. All right. Going back to high school. Oh, that, that just a few. <laughs> Class of what? Uh, never mind. Uh, yes. Well, at least, I, at least I have class. There you go. That's all I'll say. I have class. So, but but a few years ago, um, when I was still in high school, our football team, my junior year, was pretty successful. We ranked number one the whole school year um, in the whole state, wow. and we didn't end up winning state, but we 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 were a good team. And I remember the banquet that was held at our high school at, at the end of the year, and the quote behind the dais said. Losers make promises. Winners make commitments. Mm. Now, I'd never thought about the difference between commitments and promises until that moment. Right, because both are powerful. They are. As as we were preparing for this show, we looked at, at the difference. And promises are a declaration of what you will do. Mm -hmm. And we're told to keep our promises. We are. And we should. Mm -hmm. But that quote, George, highlights how you keep your promises. You make a commitment to make them so. Absolutely. And when you do that, you have an emotional stake in the promise. You're not just saying it. You will do it one way or another. It sounds like a song, Mary Lynn. One way or another. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm going to get you. I don't know, whatever. I don't even remember the lyrics. But All right. Let's stop singing and spare everybody. And what we're talking about here, that's the big goal getter's mindset. Oh, and that is big with two Gs. Uh, I'd always love to hear the second G. Yeah. That's the mindset of people who will reach big success in times like the ones we're living through. And understanding today's topic is just so critical now. Yeah, that's because change is occurring at a rate we've never seen before. I saw I saw an article a while back, Marilyn. It said change is occurring a million times faster than the average human's ability to process it. I believe it. Absolutely. It's and, crazy. And, and the thing is, it's going to just keep getting faster. Right. And one of the things that we can't count on in the future is that things will keep changing yes, they will. <laughs> at the speed of light. And resiliency is a critical trait for big success. So let's pull out the professor's whiteboard for five ways to become more resilient. I'll say one thing, Marilyn. That closet sure is resilient. I stuff stash away, or I stash stuff away, and the stuff just keeps falling out. <laughs> sure. Okay, now we're blaming it on the closet. Yes. All right, it's 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 crazy to see what you'll come up with every week. Anyway, I'm committed to it. <laughs> I, 
You are. <laughs> okay. Five ways to become more resilient. Number one, develop a will do attitude. Now, you may notice a switch here. We, we used to say can do. That's what you always hear. That's right. It, it is what you always hear. You, you know, we even say big success is the can do place, right? Or, but the term can isn't strong enough. Hmm. Try this. Say, I can succeed big. I can succeed big with two G's. That sounds pretty good, but now try it this way. I will succeed big. Oh, I will succeed big. Do you see the difference? Yeah. A will-do mindset empowers you. Believe in yourself completely. Will do. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Good one, Marilyn. Five ways to become more resilient. Number two, maintain your flexibility. Now, you may have noticed rigidity is not one of the three R's of big success. (laughs) Marilyn, you take note. (laughs) I ain't rigid. I know, you're not. I'm just teasing. (laughs) But it actually works against big success these days. Things, Things change quickly, as we just said. But it makes the future difficult to predict. Maintain your flexibility. Mm. Learn and adapt. It's a critical thing for big success. Right. You you really, you cannot be resistant to change. You can't. And you can't be resistant to having to do things that make you uncomfortable. Absolutely. And what's the difference between resistant and rigid? A little further along, right? Mm. If we continue to be resistant, we eventually become rigid. Mm. And that's when the, that's when the danger enters. Right. And that's when growth generally stops. Absolutely. We're talking about five ways to become more resilient. Number three is to develop a problem-solving process. And you definitely want to check out our podcast, number 82, called Solve It, (laughs) where we map out a seven-step system. And Solve It is the acronym. So, Professor, what does the S stand for? State the problem. The O? What is its origin? L? List possible solutions. V. Verify pros and cons of each solution. E. Eliminate all but the best solution. And then it. Implement and test. Solve it. And then, in addition to solving it, you'll want to take a note from the Chinese. And we got this secret from the TV miniseries Noble House. And we talk more about that in podcast episode number 77. And, Professor, what is... Uh, a little summary about that. The, the basic idea is to put all your problems in a box and only pull them out one at a time when you're ready to deal with them. I okay. thought that was just genius. Yeah. So these are two really good problem solving processes that you can put into your arsenal. Yep. And so, um, again, you'll find the link to both in your show notes. Five ways to become more resilient. Number four is to summon strength. Different people do this in different ways. Your strength may come from inside yourself. It may come from meditation or prayer. I have to admit, this is, that's the, probably my number one prayer tool. Prayer is me. I gotta lean on God. Exactly. It may come from people who care about you. Mm-hmm. So I definitely it's use that too. It's a combination of things. It yeah. is. It doesn't matter where you get it, but find mental, emotional, and spiritual strength. That's a dynamic trio. You're gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs> five ways to become more resilient. Number five is focus. And, you know, that's what we say at Big Success. you got to find your focus. So this is really key to resiliency. Yeah, focus on what you can control, not what you can't. We tend to spend a lot of time on things we can't control. Mm -hmm. Focus on who you can influence, not who you can't. Mm -hmm. Focus on the most important thing for you to accomplish next for your big success. And that's big with two Gs. Oh, yeah. So let's review the second of our three R's of big success, which is resiliency and five ways to become more resilient. Number one, develop a will do attitude. Can do isn't strong enough Two, maintain your flexibility. Number three, develop a problem solving process. And in your show notes, we have two processes that you can use and implement starting today. Number four, summon strength. You need that mental, emotional, and spiritual strength. And number five, focus on what you can control. Resiliency is a combination of persistence and flexibility. You need a high degree of what I like to call stick to it Stick to itness. That's hard to say, Mary Lynn. I gotta tell you. Stick to it. Stick to itiveness. That's what I want to say. Stick to itiveness. <laughs> it's not stick to itive. It's it's stick to itness. Stick to it stick to itness. 
<laughs> you need a high degree of it. This thing called stick to itness. Yes. So that you keep pushing forward, pushing on, pressing on, pressing towards the mark, pressing towards your calling. And you need to remain open to change so that you find new ways to solve old problems and new problems. It leads to big success. Be resilient about continual growth. Get our free Back to School for Adults ebook, which teaches you how to profit from lifelong learning. We thank you so much for listening today. Special shout out to our listeners in Toronto, Canada. Please join us next time. We're going to discuss the third R of big success, relationships, and six tips to build goodwill with your network. And until then, here's, here's to, to your, your big, big success. success. Find big success at BIGGSuccess.com. 